the 1960s, the United States of America started to think about what it meant to be transparent. As a result, a new law known as the Freedom of Information Act, or FOIA, was created to give the public the right to request records from federal agencies, which prompted many states to create or revise their laws related to allowing the public access to local government documents. Today, every state has its version of public records law. Georgia created the Georgia Open Records Act to guarantee the public access to public records of government bodies. Public records are those documents generated by individuals or groups in public office in the course of public service. All public records must be open for personal inspection and copying by the general public except those records that are required to be kept confidential by an order of a Georgia court or those records that are exempted from being open to inspection by law. At the time of inspection, any person may make photographic copies or other electronic reproductions of the records using suitable portable devices brought to the place of inspection or the agency may, in its discretion, provide copies of a record in lieu of providing access to the record when portions of the record contain confidential information that must be redacted. Who is subject to open records law? State agencies, local government, committees created by a board of commissioners, entities and organizations that receive at least one-third of their operating expense from state, county or city sources. The Department of Administrative Services or DOAS follows the official code of Georgia annotated OCGA 50-18-70 to process open records requests. The public can request open records from the DOAS divisions Fleet, Human Resources Administration, Surplus, State Purchasing Division, and Risk Management. If you need to request open records information for a particular solicitation, what information do you need to provide to DOAS to make the search easier and guarantee you get what you need? Because there is a cost associated with gathering information requested in open records, you want to make sure to provide as much information as appropriate. For example, if the request is for a sourcing event or a solicitation, make sure to include the solicitation name or number or the contract name or number, the vendor that was awarded, and the date when it was awarded. This makes it easier to gather specifically what you want and helps in reducing the cost of gathering all the information you need. Also important to understand when requesting open records is that State Purchasing Division, or SPD, a division of DOAS, establishes statewide contracts, SWCs, for the benefit of both state and local government entities throughout Georgia, which are competitive statewide contracts for a variety of products, services, and equipment. Because SPD performs the activities necessary for sourcing these contracts, it is also responsible for keeping the required records. However, each agency is capable of establishing agency contracts for the benefit of that agency and, as a result, keeps the required records for their own solicitations. To find contracts for a specific agency or statewide contracts, you can search the Georgia Procurement Registry. State entities, including the State Purchasing Division, are required to publicly advertise their solicitations using the GPR. The registry has search capabilities to allow interested suppliers or members of the public to easily navigate sourcing events being conducted or awarded by state entities. So how do you request open records from the Department of Administrative Services? Simple. Step 1. Access the DOAS website. Step 2. Scroll down on the page and click on How do I request a record on the bottom left of the web page. Step 3. Then click on the word here where it is indicated. To request a record, click here. Step 4. Then the Georgia Department of Administrative Records Management Portal shows to guide you through the request. 
The portal allows you to register in order to create an account. Once you register, you can enter requests and check the status of your request. Step 5. The Department of Administrative Services applies an hourly charge of $25 for administrative and clerical tasks related to the search, retrieval, review, and preparation of the agency's records, but the first 15 minutes of the request are free. Step 6. Before you receive a copy of your open record request, DOAS provides you with a written estimate of the cost for processing your open records request and an estimate of the time it will take to process. Step 7. Once you pay, your request is processed. The system sends you notifications to let you know the status of your request. If you do not get notifications, check spam to make sure you get your email. Have questions?